Born on the 14th of March, 1879, Albert Einstein's name is one of the most infamous in the field of theoretical physics. As the developer of the theory of relativity, which is considered to be one of the two main pillars of modern physics along with quantum mechanics, Albert's work has had an indescribably massive impact on the philosophy of science. But no matter how much you think you may know about him, he still has his secrets and it's time to reveal those to you. These are the most surprising things you never knew about Albert Einstein. Number 15. Albert Einstein's Brain you may have thought Einstein's incredible intellect was a result of a lifetime of meticulous study, opportunity, and a perfect blend of imagination and intuition. But a recent study has suggested that he was a step ahead of the rest from the moment he was born. An investigation by researchers at Florida State University studied his brain. Maybe it's something in the aura of Einstein inspired him and found that there were several abnormalities that most of us don't have. Pictures were taken of the organ shortly after his death, but no one had taken the time to study them in a great amount of detail. By improving the image quality and combining it with what we now know about brain structures, the team were able to identify unusual structures, particularly in the prefrontal cortex. As the region of the brain responsible for abstract thinking, the researchers concluded that this allowed Einstein to consider aspects of space and time in a way that the rest of us are simply unable to. Could it be that one of the world's greatest thinkers gained his abilities from a genetic fluke? Or did this just help him to analyze information faster? or in a different way to others. We may never truly know, but the results certainly prove that he truly was one of a kind. Like this video, smash the subscribe button, and click the notification bell right now, or this centipede will crawl on your face when you're sleeping. Number 14. Speech Parents are constantly worried about whether their children are developing at a normal rate, and often compare them against others of the same age. This is the result of countless experts who claim to know what's important to growing into a successful person. But according to those metrics, Einstein shouldn't have stood a chance. We are concerned here with, a with an act of humanity. According to records from the time, the future scientific genius didn't utter his first word until the age of four. According to psychological literature, you'd normally expect children to begin making coherent sounding noises within the first year or two, and any that take one or two years longer than that are seen as statistical outliers. Based on the evidence from Einstein, however, there's a theory that the late development could actually be a sign of heightened intelligence. There's a name for this, imaginatively called Einstein syndrome, that relates to extreme intelligent people whose speech is delayed. This could be a sign that their brains are analyzing different types of information from a young age than other people do, or are developing more complex thoughts before finding the need to communicate. Number 13. Einstein was an average student. Einstein had a very difficult time at school when he was growing up. His late development with communication had worried his parents, who were beginning to think he wouldn't amount to much in life. And he had behavioral issues throughout his childhood. He didn't make any friends, and apparently had violent and extreme temper tantrums, and reacted badly towards the authoritative style of his teachers in Munich. No. I will ask of you. He flourished in creative tasks, but he struggled at everything else so much that he dropped out of his first school at the age of 15. He applied to a school in Zurich after that, and while he just passed the math exam, he failed at botany, zoology, and language, so he failed to get in. Eventually, he was admitted to another, but even then, he struggled with most of the subjects, with most of his teachers doubting he would ever graduate. In the end, he managed to just scrape by with a passing grade. But this led to his first job being at a patent office instead of in a research role like you might expect. And it would be a while more until he found his true calling in life. Number 12. The Compass Einstein rewrote the book when it comes to our understanding of physics, and many of his theories and ideas were well ahead of their time, and are only just being proved to be correct today. 
As such an influential force in science, historians and biographers have trawled stories from his life to try and find where his interest in how things work began, and believe it stems from a gift he was given by his father when he was five, a compass. As soon as he got his hands on it, he was mesmerized by the way the needle kept pointing in the same direction, and that by shaking it, he could fool it into pointing somewhere else before it reverted to its original orientation. He thought it was incredible the way the needle kept showing where the magnetic north was and that there was some mystical force at play that was allowing it to do this. He saw it as proof that there's far more to the world than what's perceivable from our point of view, and became fascinated with pulling back that veil of mystery and seeing what was hidden behind. Number 11. The Violin Einstein's mother was particularly musical, and would often fill the home with the tender tones of her piano playing. She hoped her son would develop a love of music too. So when he was six years old, she arranged for him to receive regular lessons on the violin. He found it terribly boring, however, and was far more interested in virtually anything else. One story speaks of the time he escaped violin practice to build a house of cards, which apparently reached 14 stories high, and his parents were soon about to give up on trying anymore, and even contemplated selling the violin to someone who would be more interested. This all changed when he was 13, though, when he fell in love with the music of Mozart. This spurred on a desire to properly learn how to play the instrument, and soon he became an accomplished musician. This would be a joy he'd take with him into his adult life, and he kept regularly playing for 70 years. He'd use it to relax, to help clarify his thoughts, and to help his way through difficult concepts, as well as playing with local ensembles and groups. Number 10. Albert Einstein, The Presidency of Israel we often find ourselves wishing that our leaders would show just a modicum of common sense or intelligence when making their decisions instead of pandering to their supporter base. But Israel nearly found out what would happen if you had one of the world's greatest thinkers running the country. Their first president, Chaim Wiseman, died in 1952, and the foreign ministry was tasked with finding suitable candidates to replace him. The ambassador to the U.S. at the time wrote a letter to Einstein on behalf of Israel's prime minister to ask him if he would consider taking on the role of president. He would have to relocate to Israel and take on Israeli nationality, but would be free to continue with his scientific research with funding from the government because it was acknowledged how important this was to the furthering of humanity. Einstein, of course, graciously turned down the offer because he didn't feel that he was equipped to take on responsibility for an entire country, but it certainly would have been fascinating to see what he would have done. Number 9. Captain Einstein We all have hobbies and pastimes that help us escape the pressures and stresses of the lives that we lead, and this is by no means a new thing. While we may play video games, watch Netflix and chill, or drift off into watching playlists on YouTube, there's a whole wealth of activities in the fresh air that are open to us too, and Einstein was particularly fond of the great outdoors. He was a keen sailor, and for him, it was a serene escape from the pressure and complexity of his work. It gave him a chance to be alone, to feel the wind blowing through his hair, and found that it helped to engage his mind. He'd find places on the lake with very little wind and float there for hours, contemplating the universe and his own existence. He'd go without a plan or direction and just see where he'd end up, using the time as a chance to meditate. According to other members of his sailing club, they'd quite often have to go out to bring him back to land when the sun was setting, because he'd so easily get lost in his own thoughts and completely lose track of time. Number 8. Never Wear Socks We all have our quirks that seem strange to other people. Some drink cold coffee, others don't own any underwear. And for Einstein, it was that he never, ever wore any socks. This wasn't just something he did that no one knew about either, because he was very proud of the fact, so much so that he'd often talk about it in letters to his friends and family. Once he wrote to his future wife Elsa and said, even on the most solemn occasions, I got away without wearing socks and hid the lack of civilization in high boots. On the face of it, 
It almost seems like an act of rebellion, but later writings of his showed there was actually a logical reason. He said that when he was young, his big toes always wore holes into the tips of his socks. And this was one of the most uncomfortable things he had ever experienced. It was because of this, he said, that he stopped wearing socks. While this may seem strange, there's probably good reason for it. Some images remain of him while he was wearing sandals. And if you look closely, you can see that he definitely had freakishly huge big toes. Number 7. Einstein Loved to Smoke of all the habits that humans have partaken in throughout history, smoking has undoubtedly been the most damaging. Despite being commonplace in civilizations, right back to the time of the Aztecs and probably earlier. It's amazing to think that it was only in the mid-20th century that public health authorities began realizing how dangerous it was. It seems bizarre to us now, but before then doctors even prescribed cigarettes as a means of healing certain ailments. And it seems the love of smoking combined with the manufacturer's methods of advertising convinced even the smartest of people that it was perfectly safe to do. Einstein himself was a fond smoker, and there are countless accounts of people commenting on how they'd only ever see him surrounded by a cloud of smoke. He would pick up butts from the street to continue smoking them in his pipe, and famously once said that it contributed to calm and objective judgment in all human affairs. It was rare that he was wrong, but on this occasion, he clearly was. But he'd never lived to find out the truth because it was only in 1962 that the dangers of smoking were revealed, seven years after his death. Number 6. Albert Einstein Co-Invented a Refrigerator we know so much about Einstein's contributions to unlocking secrets of the universe and how to unleash the power of the atom. But he also turned his attentions to more everyday subjects too. After winning the Nobel Prize for Physics, he felt that he had reached a pinnacle, and so began to look to how he could help with the design of normal products. Five years later, he heard the story of a German family who died after breathing in nauseous gases that had been released by their refrigerator. At the time, the technology for home cooling devices was in its relative infancy, and methods for keeping the air cold weren't exactly what you would call safe. Einstein knew there had to be a better way, so he devoted his time to finding a way to effectively store food that didn't involve keeping poisonous chemicals in the home. After several months of contemplation, he came up with a new method that didn't require the use of electricity, moving parts, or greenhouse gases. For some reason, despite patenting the design, it never went into commercial production. But amazingly, when the design was unearthed in 2008, it was found to be far more efficient and less damaging to the environment than the refrigerators that we use today. Number 5. Letters even though he was a physicist at the forefront of technology and had telephones at his disposal, Einstein was famed for his love of the written word. Albert Einstein, the God Letter. And would use letters to communicate his deepest and most important thoughts with those that were close to him. He also used this to great effect when he was trying to affect world change, and was responsible for arguably the most powerful letter to have ever been written. You've heard of the phrase, the pen is mightier than the sword, and Einstein proved this to dramatic effect. He wrote a two-page letter to President Roosevelt while living in the US before the beginning of World War II. He had heard of the experiments being conducted by the Nazis and knew that they had been investigating the possibilities of nuclear fission. When he realized the awesome power that splitting the atom could produce, his letter to the president is credited with being what initiated the Western pursuit of nuclear weapons and resulted in the formation of the Manhattan Project, and, subsequently, the world's first nuclear bomb. Number 4. Nobody Knows Einstein's IQ If you think of what intelligence looks like, you probably would imagine an image of Einstein. He's so synonymous with higher-level thinking that his photo couldn't be out of place next to the definition of intelligence in the dictionary. But no one's entirely sure what his IQ actually was. IQ tests are controversial at best because they aren't a perfect way of measuring someone's brain power. 
They look at very specific mental abilities and are discriminatory in their design. But Einstein never actually took a test to see what his was. There's no doubt that he was able to think in ways like no one else and was able to handle highly complicated thoughts and derived conclusions far beyond the ability of anyone else at the time or since. He was able to unravel mysteries of the universe that we're only just beginning to understand now. But surprisingly, there are suggestions that on the standard IQ test, had he taken one, he may not have scored as highly as you might imagine. The reason for this is that his type of thinking isn't measured as a typical form of intelligence, something that proves how little you should really take notice of IQ scores as a whole, and how no matter what the rest of the world thinks, everyone's capable of contributing to knowledge in a major way. Number 3. College of Medicine of Yeshiva University for someone who contributed so much to the world of physics and whose theories still underpin scientific works to this day, you'd expect there to be countless research institutes named in his honor. And you'd be right, but there's one that's a little more unusual. Formed in 1953, the Albert Einstein College of Medicine is a privately funded medical school in New York City. To present this replica to you of the Albert Einstein College of Medicine. That was originally a part of the Yeshiva University. Einstein agreed to the request that his name be attached to the facility, despite it focusing on a field of research that wasn't necessarily his forte. In the years since, academics at the college have made great strides in genetic and disease research and is affiliated with a number of nearby hospitals who help with studies and share in the benefits of the results. It remains a testament to the man who did so much for the world during this time and continues to inspire and train the medical minds of the future. A few years after its foundation, Einstein spoke of it as one of his proudest legacies, and he'd certainly be proud of what it has been able to accomplish long after his death. Number two, Father of Modern Physics Einstein's contributions to the world of physics was simply unparalleled. Never before had someone developed a field of study so much, and no one has come close since. His most famous equation was, of course, E equals mc squared, the basis of his theory of special relativity that proved that mass and energy were essentially the same thing and are interchangeable. Einstein has made a universe. And I can't tell you how long that This was by no means the culmination of his work, however. He predicted the behaviors of black holes, for example, which were, at the time, far beyond what astronomers were able to witness or prove. In recent years, these calculations have been found to be virtually spot on, which is incredible considering the technology he had at his disposal in the first half of the 20th century. He was also responsible for unlocking the secret behind the photoelectric effect, which is vital to the way that solar panels and digital cameras work. It's no surprise then that he won the Nobel Prize in 1921 for services to theoretical physics, and the legacy of his work can be seen all around us to this day. Number 1. Einstein had a body sense of humor. You might think that being a serious scientist that he was, that Einstein didn't have much time for laughter or jokes. According to stories by those who knew him closely, though, he had a hilariously mischievous sense of humor. At dinner parties, he'd often try to wind up his wife by telling risque stories to his esteemed guests with a sly grin on his face. She'd become noticeably more and more embarrassed about what he was saying and would eventually break and shout, Albert, to get him to stop. He'd find it so funny, and the more she got annoyed, the more he'd keep at it. He was once given a joke nameplate by a friend who was an engraver, which said Albert Ritter von Steisbein. This loosely translates to mean Albert Knight of the Backside, which he found to be incredibly funny. He loved it so much that it was fixed to the front of the door to his apartment, and he'd proudly show it and explain it to everyone who came to visit. We've all got a neighbor like that, haven't we? Which of these facts about Einstein did you find to be the most surprising? And have they changed the way you think of him? Make sure to let us know in the comments section. Also, check out our other cool stuff showing up on screen right now. See you next time!